Hello everyone, we are done with the analysis of fluids at rest as well as its behavior at its boundaries. Now, let's proceed with the fluids or the analysis of fluids in motion. Uh, when do we say that a fluid is in motion? We say that a fluid is in motion if it flows or transport fluid from one domain to another. The study of fluid in motion falls under uh, fluid dynamics. Fluid dynamics is a subdiscipline of fluid mechanics that describes the flow of fluids, uh, maybe either a liquid or a gas. So it has several subdisciplines, including including aerodynamics, which is the study of air and other gases in motion, and hydrodynamics the study of liquids in motion. Here are some of the fundamental concepts and terms we need to know to analyze fluid flow. Let's start with the discharge. The discharge is the amount of fluid passing a section of a stream in unit time. So if V is the mean velocity and A is the cross-sectional area, the discharge Q is defined by Q is equals to A times V, which is known as the volume flow rate. Discharge is also expressed as mass flow rate and weight flow rate. For the mass flow rate, we have it is equal to the product of the density of the fluid and the volume flow rate. While for the weight flow rate, so this time, it is the product of the specific weight of the fluid and the volume flow rate. We also need to consider the behavior of the flow of fluids because its behavior will determine the factors we need to take into account to describe the flow of fluid mathematically. The behavior of the fluid can be laminar or turbulent. The flow is said to be laminar when the paths of the individual particles do not cross or intersect. By many careful experiments to commercial pipes of circular section, the flow is laminar when the Reynolds number Re is less than 2100, while the flow is said to be turbulent when its paths are irregular curves and continuously cross each other. The paths of the particles of a stream flowing with turbulent motion are neither parallel, parallel nor fixed but it aggregates the forward motion of the entire stream. Reynolds number greater than 2100 normally defines, defines turbulent flow. And based from the figure, we can say that the lamin for the laminar flow, Fluid particles move in smooth, layered uh, fashion or no substantial mixing of fluids occurs. While for tur turbulent flow, fluid particles move in a chaotic, tangled uh, fashion, significant mixing of fluid occurs. To identify what type of flow Thus, the fluid behaves is by determining the values of Reynolds number, which is a dimensionless unit and it, it, and it is a measure of the ratio between the inertial forces and the viscous forces. The formula to determine the Reynolds number is we have Re is equals to uh, the density of the fluid multi multiplied by the average velocity V times the uh, length or characteristic length over the uh, viscosity of the fluid. Uh, and as illustrated on the figure, lower values of Reynolds number exhibits laminar flow or the fluid flow parale uh, flows parallel forming a straight path while Larger values of Reynolds number shows chaotic or random flow distribution of fluid particles. 
We can also classify the flu flow of fluids as steady flow. And steady flow occurs if the discharge Q passing a given cross-section of a stream is constant with time. Otherwise, the flow is unsteady. We, we have also uniform flow, and the flow is said to be uniform if with the steady flow for a given length or reach of a stream, the average velocity at every cross-section is the same. Uniform flow usually occurs to incompressible fluids flowing in a stream of constant cross-section. In streams uh, where velocity and cross-section changes, the flow is said to be non-uniform. Next is for continuous flow. By the principle of conservation of mass, continuous flow occurs when at any time, the discharge Q at every section of the stream is the same. And since the discharge of at every section of the stream is constant, continuity equations are formed. And for incompressible fluids like uh, water, uh, the formula for the, I mean, continuity, continuity equation is equivalent to uh, discharge equals to the discharge at point 1, which is A sub 1 times B sub 1, and it is also equals to the discharge at point 2 or section 2, which is also equals to the product of the area and the velocity at this section. Then, at it is also equals to the discharge at section 3, which is also equals to the product of the area of, at this section times the velocity at this section, and so on. And for compressible fluids, so instead of uh, the discharge, so we use the mass flow rate and the weight flow rate. So we have for mass flow rate, so it is equal to the product of the density and the discharge at uh, a given section and it is also equals to the density times the discharge at the other section and so on. Then in, uh, for the weight flow rate, so just replace the density by the specific weight. 